Angst vor der eigenen Courage. Fear of your own courage. Being afraid of your own courage. That's something that only a German could say, really. And, and I think it's great. There's something poetic about it. There's something beautiful and sad and idealistic, but at the same time realistic. There's something paradoxical about it. It's the fear you get when faced with your own passion. When you look at yourself in the mirror and you don't recognize yourself because you're doing something so exciting or so positive or so good or so hopeful that, that it's unusual for you. And the school marm uh, in the back of your mind, you know, the preacher in the back of your mind, the, 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 the warner in the back of your mind says, whoa, hold on a minute here. What, what are you doing? You, you are, you're, you're investing all your money in this new idea of yours. Think, think twice about that. You, you're quitting your day job to become an actor in Hollywood. Whoa, wait a minute. You're going to talk to that girl. Most, she's the most popular girl in school. You're going to talk to her. That's going to be a disaster. And see, this is, these are all these things that take courage. It doesn't take courage to do the same old thing that you've been doing all day. It takes courage to do something different. It takes courage to take a risk. And, and when we take a risk and do something different, we change our lives. Or we have the opportunity to change it. It can change. Something new will happen. But it's scary. And so the Germans don't call it, uh, you know, fear of taking a risk. They don't call it fear of doing something that could end in disaster because, I mean, you know, let's be honest, a risk can end in disaster. Most of them do. Ryan, uh, purely on a, on a statistical uh, level, most things end in disaster. That's the way it is. A lot of things go wrong. More things go wrong than they go right. So there's always the chance of something ending in a catastrophe is always bigger. And you know that. Yet, you take the risk. And this taking the risk, despite all the odds, that takes courage. And it's really reassuring to me that the Germans, who are so afraid of everything, have a word and are willing to acknowledge that if you take that risk, if you make that jump, it's not about a calculated risk. It's about taking a chance. It's about courage. And they say it. They don't say, well, good for you, you're taking a risk, or uh, you're doing something irrational, or you're afraid of taking a risk, or you're afraid of doing something irrational. They don't say that. They say, they say, it's courage. You're showing courage. And at that moment, you think twice and you think, oh my God, I'm, I'm really doing this. Not, you start shaking and you start getting afraid because of all the things that can go wrong. And you are afraid of taking that one step that will put you into the future, into the risk zone, into the unknown. And that's the scariest step you can take. But it's not just fear of the unknown. It's fear of something within you, and it's funny and strange and ironic to me that the Germans use that word when you're about to sign that check and your hand hesitates. You're not afraid of the risk. You're not afraid of the future. You're afraid of your own courage. Eins, zwei, drei, vier.